dear all welcome to the lecture series of basic electrical engineering we were discussing a model question paper of basic electrical engineering in the last session so i have been discussing an overview and uh, that uh, detailed answer key will be discussed in the coming video so we have discussed uh, question 1 2 3 then 5 4 6 uh, till 7 i have discussed okay let us move on to question number 8 so please read the question here with the neat sketches explain the construction of two type of synchronous generator so you need to know the fundamentals of synchronous generator then you have to explain uh, salient pole type alternator or synchronous generator and uh, non salient pole type alternator or non salient pole type synchronous generator the construction is based on the rotor structure how about the construction of rotor based on the rotor there are two type of alternator one is salient pole type okay you have to explain uh, the diagram salient pole salient pole type another one is non salient pole type okay non salient pole type non salient okay please note down non salient pole type salient pole and non salient pole type alternator you have to explain separately so draw don't forget to draw the diagram okay salient okay so salient pole type and non salient pole type alternator you have to explain uh, with the help of uh, suitable diagram so you can write salient pole type and uh, non salient pole type alternator remember that alternator and synchronous generator both are same only so you are supposed to explain uh, independently clear so that is regarding that particular question another point you can have another what are the desirable characteristics of tariff and uh, explain two part tariff so you have to explain tariff should be attractive it should be reasonable it should be easily understood by the customer okay and uh, e easy return should be available likewise you should mention three to four important points then you have to explain about two part tariff so two part tariff what are the major segments of two part tariff one is fixed charge another one is running charge and you have to explain that the fixed charge is directly proportional to the maximum demand and the running charge is directly proportional to the total number of units consumed likewise you can able to mention so if you write the characteristics of tariff you will be getting two marks and if you are able to write the two part tariff properly you may get four marks the total six marks then there is a problem related to two part tariff and you can work out identify the maximum demand then load factor if you know the maximum demand load factor and the total hours in a year definitely you can be able to calculate the total uh, units consumed in a particular year okay then you can able to talk about the maximum demand is also available so maximum demand into certain charges you can multiply therefore you will be getting the two segments the charge related to the units consumed per year and the charge related to the maximum demand if you take the summation definitely you will be getting the total cost here they have mentioned 0.1 uh, uh, sorry 10 paise per kilowatt hour 10 paise it is better to convert into rupees 10 paise means uh, 0.1 rupees right then you can able to manage it easily so total cost can be easily computed you will be awarded for 6 marks for this question then question number 10 explain the working principle of fuse and mcb how does fuse and mcb operate so if i talk about the fuse mention the definition and how does fuse work you have to mention heating effect of electricity what are the wires which are made up of fuse then what are the desirable properties of fuse wire afterwards you can explain about a miniature circuit breaker so you have to talk about uh, it, ca it, it can be able to operate automatically or manually then you have to mention about the contacts the fixed contact and moving contact likewise you can able to mention it 3 plus 3 total 6 marks another important question is earthing Uh, do mention about the earthing okay what are the types of earth first of all de define earthing non current carrying metal part should be connected to the ground because ground is a universal acceptor okay then why earthing is required mainly for safety of equipment 
and the safety of the person those who are operating the equipment these are the points you have to highlight very clearly then with the help of a knee sketch explain plate earthing so we have already two type of earthing main, fo mainly focusing earthing there are two types so one is plate earthing another is uh, pipe earthing so you have to explain about the pl plate earthing while explaining mention the dimension what could be the height what could be the depth then what about the plate area you have to mention about the ga plate and the copper plate how it has been uh, kept in the ground likewise everything should be clearly mentioned so if you explain about uh, what is earthing you may get one mark why earthing is required you will get uh, one marks then remaining part you may get six marks so total eight marks division can be done in that manner last question uh, write a short note on uh, precautions against electric shock at least uh, uh, there are more than 20 plus precautions available at least you can choose uh, six precautions at least in that definitely you will be getting the full marks if you write six points neat points you can able to uh, mention like uh, avoid the usage of damaged switches and plugs that is one point then all the non-current carrying metal parts should be earthed like this you can able to make at least six valuable points definitely you will be getting the credit so these are the 10 important questions uh, which, which can be repeated, which can be repeated or you can expect the similar kind of questions in the university examination. First I would like to inform everyone that find out your convenient option first. At least uh, in this question paper you need to find out the 5 best questions. So everybody can able to choose the best one, whichever you know best. Okay, later you can plan accordingly, you have to manage your time effectively, here all the questions, see question number 1, A, B, C, 3 parts are available, so you have to manage your time effectively, without managing the time it is somewhat difficult, another, another important point, I have solved all the questions very clearly, so that can be done in the coming video, in the first and second video, only overview about the question paper, so I request everyone to watch the first part also, in that first part I have explained the up to 7 question I think. Uh, remaining I have explained in this video and uh, kindly go through that you have to plan uh, manage it effectively okay and uh, whenever you are preparing the examination whenever you are writing the examination you have to add more number of diagrams more equations whichever you know the equation you have to highlight first and the diagrams also should be very clear whenever you are writing the important points please do underline the technical terms so that it will be really helpful for valuation for evaluator also they will check the value points if value points are not there it is difficult to get the marks so you can plan accordingly you should be a good time manager as soon as you receive the question paper you, are, you can dedicate at least 5 to 10 minutes for your managing how the things can be managed how, which question should be answered first which can be done later likewise you can able to uh, mention so first of all you have to uh, plan it accordingly and uh, maintain your answer book very neat and tidy so you have to get the best impression as soon as you receive the you are start writing the examination your answer should be neat and tidy okay so likewise you can able to mention in the coming video i'll be showing you what are the things i have done and what are the answers i have solved everything i could able to show show you same thing can be shared if you provide the mail id so i wish you all the best for your examination thank you for watching this video